Welcome back to Let's Play Storm of Zaheer. I just went around and gathered the extra materials we're going to need to trade in to the guy up in Neverwinter. Um, we've got a dark steel, a knucklehead ivory, a harvest meat, and a bit of solentar. And we also have some adamantine and mithril to upgrade the gray cloaks fully and completely. There's an old man on the road. He spotted an elderly man dressed in loose-fitting robes in the distance. He leans heavily on a gnarled walking stick as he limps toward you. Let's approach him. Greetings to you, un young travelers. It's good to see friendly faces about in these troubling times. Greetings. The name is Dalton Canner, scholar, sage, historian, and teacher. Well met. I'm looking to solve one of the most ancient mysteries of Toril's past. What mystery? A handful of aged texts reveal our ancient ancestors once called this world... A bear Toril. For, for decades, scholars throughout the realms have hotly debated why this was once so. Unfortunately, none seem to have a definitive answer to this ancient riddle. I've been wandering the lands for more years than I care to admit seeking that answer. Are you getting closer to finding the truth? I regret to say that I am not. I've spoken with commoners, historians, adventurers, and kings. None seem to be able to shed any light on this primordial enigma. Well, good luck with your research. Safe travels. Okay, that was weird. Um, also, north of Phandalin, west of Conaberry, there's an undead barrow that I randomly discovered, so we've got a dungeon to crawl before continuing questing, or after continuing our current questing, depending on how you look at it. Visit Merchant Headquarters. And once I've gotten this upgrade. I have no real use for trade bars either, so it's just pure cash. Here's your share of the income our company is Oh. Enjoy. If there's anything you need, just let Uh, let's build an upgrade. Upgrade the armor of the Grey Cloaks. I'll have the armor picked up and distributed among the road patrols. They'd better appreciate what we're doing for them. Maybe they'll stop whistling at me too, the cads. Is there anything else? I'd like to build an upgrade? Well, there's nothing else we can do short of buying the keep itself. Hmm, you don't think we... No, no, Nasher probably wouldn't allow it. Oh well. Alright, so trade bars. Boom. So much money. We've got two access to two boomsticks. We can only afford one immediately, but shortly after I'll be able to buy the one back from... Um, What's it called? Uh, West Harbor. But for now, let's buy the one from Jacoby. If there's anything you need, just let me know. What you have for sale? Let's see. I think you had. It's probably easier to see if I do it this way. Ah, here we go. Rod of Thunder and Lightning. <laughs> Yes! So again, that is a level 3, level 3 sound bursts, and one level 20 chain lightning per day. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh. It's not quite a game-winning item, but it's a very, very, very good item. So let's go ahead and rest. And let's head on back to Neverwinter. They can handle those bandits and those water elementals. I don't need to worry about it anymore. Because they it's just pure cash now. I don't have to worry about maintaining them. I can invest more cash into them to make more cash, but I'm going to run out of items to buy eventually. Or at least items that'll be useful to me to buy. Then it's just 
buying literally unlimited stacks of uh, healing. Alright, back into Neverwinter. I love high level D&D because a lot of the progression is just in the ridiculously powerful magic items that you can acquire. Alright, so Phineas, we have a thing for you. Have you found any artifacts for my Dark Steel, Knucklehead Ivory. I can provide you with your reward now. Oh, I thought you needed five. If you're interested, I can bring you I can provide you with an even greater reward should you bring three more resources to me. Hello. Okay, so I do need to bring him Adamantine, but that'll just have to wait. Because we've got a dungeon to go crawl. And those 500 trade bars are just cash for me. Like 25k. Not quite 25k. Actually, I think the trade bars are like 25 GP each, not 50. In any case, uh, like I said, if I open up the map, there's an undead barrow right there, just west of Conaberry. Can I use the portal, like, from the menu, maybe? See, visit. Quest have good sense. Status for Karen's. Nope. Unfortunate. Alright. Let's just head up to Conaberry ourselves then. But yeah, at this point, it's like I think I have a quest to pick up in Phandalin. Yeah, Phandalin. Um, the New Leaf quest, another main quest, and then... Well, New Leaf is a main quest, so then it's just main quest stuff. Let's see, visit the inn. Is it the common room of the inn? Tavern patron, let's see. Danley. Oh, hello. Look like the intrepid adventurer type. Want to help a businessman out? What's this? Uh, what's in it for me? You see, until just a few months ago, the old old iron mine to the southeast in the Sword Mountains was overrun by orcs, goblins, and other unpleasant creatures. I'd planned to gather together some people, probably some veterans from the Shadow War, to clear out the orcs and seize the mine for Phandalin. Maybe put out some good ore for once. The sub mine was it productive in the past? Oh yes, quite. I've got old reports saying they discovered a load of cold iron in there fit to make a dwarf duel rivers, but I digress. Anyhow, any, out of nowhere, these two representatives out of some mining company mysteriously show up, say they've cleared out the orcs and, I, and won the rights to operate the mine. So what's the problem? It just doesn't seem right. Maybe they have connections to the Black Network. Maybe they're representatives of Luskin or Om or... I don't know. But how did they know the mine was there? How did they raise an army so quickly? Something's not right. What's worse, they haven't been selling to any outside buyers, and they brought in all of their own miners, so the couple, of, so the people of Phandalin haven't seen a copper from the mine. We're happy the orcs are gone, but we deserve better. If you'll investigate and prove they're up to something, I'll reward you. And if you help us establish control of the mine, we'll sell you cold iron at a result, reduced price, of course. The mine is to the southeast. Please let me know anything you found out as soon as possible. Okay. There we go. I guess the next, like, the logical next step in gearing ourselves and crafting is to make sets of, like, adamantine full plate for, um, Gullbrook, Talon, and, um, uh, Halorain. Do, 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 
Because that gives damage resistance to physical attacks, I think. Adamantine armor, I mean. Like, well, I'm not going to waste the lightning, or the chain lightning now, because, well, also they're dead, but why am I looting the plus zero gear? Like, it's not even special material gear. Anyway, I think Adamantite, or Adamantine, uh, grants DR. And then maybe recraft our gear as, like, cold iron or something. I don't actually know the advantages of different material weapons. Um, I know, at least in Pathfinder, like, Cold Iron keeps certain monsters from regenerating. Odd friends, you do not appear as. This is odd friends, you do not appear as humans in my eyes. Uptal has shown me what you truly are, Ogre Magi. How in the. Don't all bother with the talk, Daniel. Let's deal with these ones, they're trouble. Too true! Sorry, friends, you shouldn't poke your nose where it doesn't belong. It's been enough talk. Radbur and Gromchik. Granted, I don't think at this point we actually need to craft up better gear. Falcon plus one. Grom checks walking stick. This oversized walking stick appears to be endowed with magical properties to assist its owner with the use of arcane magic. Plus one quarter step with plus three concentration in spellcraft and ten spell resist. Interesting. Oh, was was that it? <laughs> Discover there are really ogre magi and the miners were under an illusion. You should return to Danley with this Wow, that was yeah. you want, yeah. <laughs> That was a quest. That's like a secondary quest you throw together because your party cleared the initial dungeon slightly too fast. Or if you want to give them like a specific item. Is it Danley and Sons? Is it the common room? Tout. Well met friends. Say, have you heard of the merchant company running out of Crossroad Keep? Finest wares in the land, they say. Really? Interesting. 
Yes, the miners were still monsters, this time hidden by an illusion. Oh dear, and the heads of the company? Ogre Magi, decently powerful, too. Oh goodness, did you deal with the monsters in the mine? Not yet. Alright, well, to reopen the mine, I'll need you to clear out the monsters. Sorry, but it must, must be done. I didn't see a way further in? I'll have to look closer for doors, I guess. Like, I can't go further that way. I'm gonna need to cast light again. What door in Shula? I am trying to find this. Oh, God. Mine Foreman. Yeah, this is not tough. This was definitely meant to be like an earlier game quest. How is that an attack of opportunity? I did not move out of his attack range. Thunderstone, plus a zero throwing axes, plus zero bolt. Killing everything so fast. The potions are at least worth a little bit of gold compared to the plus zero loop. Oh. 
Oh well, maybe we'll get the key from him. It is lame when there are unbreakable doors, though. Oh, there's one I didn't loot. And it was some gemstone. I'm still debating with myself, like, do I bother crafting superior gear at this point? Like, I can buy some ridiculous items now. But I don't think it's going to be better than what I can make. Well, I guess if I could craft plus three, that would be optimal. For, like, make just making a plus three adamantine version of every piece of gear I currently have. Monsters in the mine. Yes. Thank the heavens. We'll begin work on opening the mine immediately. In the meantime, here's your reward. A thousand GP and a level up. Um, we risk our lives and this is all you can give us. Uh, we haven't seen any profits from the mine yet, so, uh, but I suppose we could spare some more reward. Here, 500 yeah. extra GP. What? And level ups. Haha. -ha. Although I do want to go ahead and make sure everyone gets at least one point into survival. Improved critical hand axe. I don't need it because my hand axe is already keen. But at the same time, there's literally no other useful thing for me. It just means that when I do craft an adamantine hand axe, I don't need to worry about it. Come on, follow me. Keep up. Friend D3, an enhanced power attack? Another level 7 spell or two. Hiss of Sleep. Targets of the spell fall into a comatose slumber. So, not based on hit die, just a will negate save. That's a depressing spell. Shadow Shield is super good, but it's self only. That's real good. Shadow variant? I don't see much of a point to that. Uh, control undead is really situational. Grasping hand is real good, though. Being able to say, hey, you, you know how you can move? Not anymore. Uh, so I can buy some cold iron. And that'll be cool. The guy in Neverwinter will be happy with that.
trade. Cold iron. For cheap, too. All right. So we head back to Neverwinter City. Talk to three more traders, one of which probably is just one of the people in Neverwinter. Yeah, the Knoll dude. Let's see, there's the Knoll dude, probably someone in Port Last. Maybe someone in New Leaf? I don't know if New Leaf is like a legit town. I might also be missing someone in Crossroad Keep as well. So no actual like merchants there. So let's talk to Phineas. Hello. You I brought you some cold iron. Excellent. Here's your reward. This brings me yet closer to the goal of opening the first museum of Torel. It shall be a grand display. That's another five hundred trade bars. I welcome you, friend. Um three final rare resources. I'm not sure what... Salt? Adamantine. I don't know the last one. Ooh, ooh, one of the people in the Temple of Joaquin might, since it's since Joaquin is the god of merchants. Tell me about being a merchant. I said talk to him. He points toward the doorway again. I assume he's not going to tell me anything. Greetings, tell me about being a merchant. Well, I suppose I do not consider myself one as such, but as an enclave's focus is as a magic repository, I suppose that is much of what I do. There is a fair amount of distrust about my people. Not that it isn't justified, but it can be hard to bear, particularly when my goal is purely to advance knowledge on the mysteries of the art. Why, just the other day... You should have seen the look on his face when he was freed from the trap by Mugen. Uh, that's the knoll outside. It was such shock and amazement I feared he would topple over on the spot. But I do hope he had no hard feelings. Alright. So that's... Four down. Two to go. And, like I said... Probably someone in the Temple of Joaquin. Maybe even the Circle of Friends representative. Because, like, the clerics are merchants. Like, that's the whole thing, right? Which one of you are the one he was talking about? Like, I assume that random the random nameless traders inside the trading posts don't count. Uh, Alana... Not you. Maybe many coins. May your day be. No. Warm greetings, colleague. Tell me about being a merchant. Ah, it is a life fraught with complication and difficulty, friend, but also tremendous opportunities to do good. The last ten day, I spoke with some representatives hailing from Yartar, and... So we should be seeing a rise in shipments of grain to the Neverwinter area, and many who have been starving shall be fed. So, you see, many opportunities to do good. Uh, what do I need to do to obtain the next rank within the cartel? 
Let's see, we would require a donation of 2,000 trade bars to grant your company a fellowship. Neverwinter's granaries are horribly dilapidated and require much new construction work. Oh, so it's purely monetary at this point. Alright. Don't suppose, um, you would talk? You must be in the wrong place, friend. We're not of your faction. Can you tell me about being a merchant? If you're looking for trade secrets, you're out of luck. But advice I can give for a hundred gold. Sure. Very well, then. As a merchant, you must be as good as your word. Be careful how you use it. There was a trade agreement I remember some years ago. And he learned never to swear by his eye again. The one he had left, that is. May you remember that one for the sake of your vision. Alright, so we've fulfilled Volo's request. Um, it's going to be another round trip between the keep and Neverwinter because I do want to attain my next rank here. Um, just for the sake of it, I don't know if there's any actual reward for doing so, but... I need to go back to the keep anyway to turn into Volo. Do, 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 do. Rest. Visit. Plus, I can actually talk to Quarrel while I'm here and claim the XP for recruiting him. Is he in here? Doesn't look like it. Oh well. Hello again, friend. Good to see your face. We've interviewed six merchants. Splendid. Why, these testimonies are things of beauty. I cannot wait to fold them into the epic work that shall be this book. But you see, this is only the first step. For what are merchants without the difficulties of life on the road? Bad food, bad weather, and of course, bandits. You can't be serious. To speak with such and not bring them to justice. Easy, valiant paladin. Be at ease. Think of this as attempting to spread justice in a more gentle fashion. By finding out more of the nature of these individuals. What drives them to rob? Is it financial need? The thrill? Some odd, inexplicable compulsion? Or, as I suspect, from what I read here, and from what I've heard from the reports given to Sasani, is there some greater force organizing them throughout the area? These are the sort of questions you need to ask as you interview. Ah, let's see. I think bribing a few should start to attract attention. And if there is someone behind all this, I've written up a list of questions on this scroll. If you could get answers to those, my book shall be just about complete. But in the meantime, is there anything else I can help you with? Interesting Wonderful. places. I can always use Sword Coast. Wonder. Tell me everything. Omit no detail. Southeast of the town of Fandolin lies a cold iron mine, somewhat of a suspicious place. Don't say. Well, if the mine is producing, then it means Fandolin is once more a destination safe for travelers. Happy news for the Sword Coast. And let's gain Umoja a level. Man, we were gonna do the friggin' um, uh, Barrow, but got distracted a bunch. Here's your share of the income. Twenty-five thousand trade bars. Okay, let's. Let's trade in fifteen thousand of these.
because I have a feeling it's going to cost a lot more bars to go up the ranks with the circle of friends. Yes, it is. But I can spend this money continuing to upgrade. Oh, uh. Wait, can I not upgrade them here? I guess not. But I'm going to spend most of that cash upgrading trade routes and buying cool friggin' things. Like, that's DR3. Oh my. <laughs> oh, and the freaking tower shield comes with it too. Oh. Scorching Ray one, but honestly, that seems unnecessary at this point. Yeah, identify the single poison arrow in the. Oh, holy crap! Wait, negative 1000? It's worth negative 1,000 gold, apparently. Sell the alchemical items. Why craft it when I can just buy it? Oh, because there's only one of each. Okay. Uh, don't suppose you have recipes for... Ooh, you actually do have recipes for adamantine items. Adamantine full plate. Adamantine tower shield. Cold Iron Hand Axe, Cold Iron Great Axe, uh, Cold Iron Long Sword, yeah that's actually about it. Uh, let me just make sure that he doesn't Is sell it? the uh, plus three recipes. Okay, no. No. Uh... I do have like all the material on me, right? I have the cold iron on me. I'm gonna have to buy adamantine, aren't I? Evening, boss. So what do I have stored? I have some cold iron and zalantar. Just keep the zalantar stored. I want to make my cold iron weapons at least. So for now, let's go ahead and AC bonus enhancement plus two on the adamantine full plate. Talon's true guard. So it's actually 
a hit to AC, but the DR is super worth it. Recipe book, cold iron hand axe, requires one cold iron and craft weapon five. You're not close enough to the required object. Oh. Twenty GP, really? Hand axe, the long sword, and the great axe. Enhancement. So Talon does fire. Cutter? I don't know. It's better than Talon's hand axe, at least. Uh, let's see. Holy is versus evil. We don't really fight neutral enemies, though. Let's see. Oh, I need to actually plus two it. Keen doesn't matter because he has improved critical. Let's see. Deadly. Extra damage on crit. Yeah. Cold Iron Great Axe needs to get plus two. I think that's AC too. He named it himself. Anarchic seems appropriate. best weapon again uh, he etched it in wrong going to do it's going to need holy no what it is is it's based on a typo he act like a misspelling he actually made thundering uh 
fully, yeah. Alright, we're gonna need a chunk more adamantine. Actually, what don't you have resistance to? You have acid, flame, physical. So, I can throw frost and sonic resist on you, actually. Um. Cold resistance on the true ward. Because I have the money for it, so why not? And Sonic on the true guard. I don't think I can fit Vampiric onto these weapons, but that would also be cool. Yeah. Alright. So next time on Let's Play Storm of Zahir, we're actually going to make our way to that Barrow. And we're also going to try and bribe bandits. That's going to go well.